Which of the legendary archer commanders should you spin when you enter the season of conquest? You've got a few choices here, and I'm going to help you navigate them. So whether you are brand new to season of conquest, or you're very experienced and you're trying to figure out, hey, what's the best addition for my open field roster? This video is for you, and spoiler alert, don't pick this guy. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming, and today's video has been sponsored by the makers of Rise of Kingdoms, and I'm going to help you navigate the decision of which commander to spin on the Wheel of Fortune. Is it Gilgamesh, Cyrus, Ramses, or Edward of Woodstock? And no, it's not Edward of Woodstock. I'm going to address this question for whether or not you are new to the Season of Conquest. You are a aspiring rally lead, or you already have Ramses, and you're trying to figure out what next? Which of these two would I do? I actually put out a poll to my YouTube subscribers. P.S. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Leading up to this video, just to see what are people spinning? And I was very surprised. 17% of you said Gilgamesh. Well, I mean, that's not too surprising. Gilgamesh is a solid commander. Only 5% said Cyrus, which is shockingly low. 24% of you went with that Ramses emoji, baby. Ramses was looking really solid, and I could not believe that almost as many that were spinning Gilgamesh, more than were spinning Cyrus, 14% of you, gosh bless it, man, were spinning Banana Helmet. You've got to be freaking kidding me. I assume two things is happening. One, you're trolling me. Two, you're not in the season of Conquest, and you're spinning him because he's the only option. And last but not least, there was an option for saying, I'm not in the season of Conquest. I'm not spinning any of these commanders. Uh, and 41% of you are not spinning this time around for one reason or another, not even to get to the 10 spot for the extra legendary commander sculptures, just for having spun 10 times. Now, let me just address the banana helmet in the room here, which is that, no, I don't think you should pick Edward of Woodstock. I've covered this in depth in another video where I just really don't like him for the open field. He works wonders in KVK Season 2 for a rally combo, but card up in the top if you want to see my dedicated video explaining why it is that I always get wrecked using Edward of Woodstock. So, if you're on board for that conclusion, that leaves three commanders, and let's start for players that are new to Season of Conquest. I'm going to make an assumption here that coming into the Season of Conquest, you already have Esong Expertise, because obviously, that is one of the two most important commanders to have expertise by the time you get to Season of Conquest. That includes Alexander the Great and Esong as your two crucial commanders to go and max. Who do I think is the best pair with Esong? For someone new to SOC, I'm going to recommend Ramses. There are many reasons why I think Ramses would be the right choice. The first reason is that he's more tanky and he is more forgiving as a commander to use in the open field. What do I mean by that? He reduces the skill damage you take by 30%, and when he's being attacked... He has a chance to get 40% more march speed. Yes, that is very helpful if you are getting swarmed and you're trying to escape something. Also, he is going to give a little bit of a heal when you're fighting. This is when you target stuff and a defense boost, which is nice. So this is a very well-rounded open field commander that has stood the test of time. I mean, truly in a shocking way. Ramses has been a phenomenal investment for people who make it, and I think you probably should too. The damage factor to single targets is massive. The heal immunity is fantastic. Also, the defense reduction is really good. Not going to stack with an Ethel Fled debuff, but still really good. Ramses is my recommendation to you. Cyrus is strong. Okay, he is strong, but he's a little squishy. He doesn't really have any tanky capabilities with the exception of when he has his expertise fire off. And you don't always skill cycle in the open field. I do like that he's got instant proc damage. And he also has revenge damage if you're swarming him. And that's instant proc. I like a lot of what's going on here with Cyrus. But I don't think that a brand spanking new player to the Season of Conquest should pick Cyrus over a Ramses. And lastly, of course, there's Gilgamesh, who you could have considered. His debuffs are really good. He's got no march speed. He does have a lot of health. But the reason I'm going to steer you toward Ramses over doing Gilgamesh is that when you look at the skills, an unmaxed Ramses is doing so much more for you than an unmaxed Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh really, um, because of the way that his fourth skill ramps up, 
only giving you a tiny amount of boost here for having one skill point in it. And because his third skill was only for rallying, he really, as an unmaxed commander, is not going to deliver even a fraction of the punch that you're going to get from a Ramses. So for most players that are going to be working incrementally, new to the season of Conquest, advancing Ramses over time, you're going to get a lot of value. Even with one point in the third skill, you're reducing your skill damage taken by 10%. You have a chance to proc when you're attacked. 20% attack boost, 20% march speed for three seconds. That's nice. Even unmaxed, when you attack, you have a chance to proc uh, 200 healing factor and 20% defense boost for three seconds. I mean, that's just really exceptional for one freaking talent point. So Ramses is great as an incremental investment, great as a pair with Esong, great as a commander that just seems to hold an immense amount of value and staying power in the open field meta. Which brings us to the rally meta. If you are a rally lead, who do you pick? I think there's a really obvious and easy answer here. He's already selected, and that's Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh is the next level archer rally for now. Is it the best rally in the game? I don't know if I would claim that. I feel like the XYC is probably the superior rally. But if you're rallying archers, Gilgamesh with Nebu or Ramses is very powerful. And I think that's where you would want to be. So if you're a rally lead, you're spinning for Gilgamesh. I probably didn't have to explain that to you. This feels like one of the more straightforward choices. This brings us to the final category, which is if you are an experienced Season of Conquest player, you've already got your Ramses maxed. In fact, you probably are a candidate for launching a counter rally because you've got decent gear and you've got a decent set of commanders that you could do that with because, I mean, hey, you've already got Ramses. So which commander would I pick between Gilgamesh and Cyrus if you are that more experienced open fielder who already has Ramses? And I actually would steer you towards Cyrus for a number of reasons. Perhaps the most compelling of those reasons is for counter rallies. Cyrus is very underutilized in this category. Why is he good for a counter rally? Although he is not very tanky, which is problematic. Uh, pairing with someone like Ramses can help with that, by the way. The thing that works so well with him is that he is making the target take 20% more damage over time. So when a damage over time effect is dealt, they take 20% more of that overtime damage. Also, he is going to reduce the skill damage of the target by 40%. Wow, that's insane. He has instant proc damage, which is actually really good in the open field. I'm going to talk about that in a second. And when he does get swarmed, he's going to start doing huge amounts of AoE damage, which is really solid. So why do I like these two debuffs on Cyrus? And that and this is why I think you should use him for counter rallies. First of all, you are going to make the rally be less effective by reducing their skill damage. That in and of itself is very powerful. You are saving the garrison dead troops. That's huge. You're also going to make the rally take more dead troops if you're counter rallying for Zenobia or you're counter rallying for Artemisia. Why is that? That is because both of them have damage over time effects, and those damage over time effects have the possibility, if everything lines up, of being boosted. So Zenobia's got a damage over time effect over here. Also, the expertise on Artemisia's got a damage over time effect. So this all points to that counter rally as I struggle to find Artemisia. Oh yeah, because she's now level one for me. Lol. Oh, uh, when they reset her, man, what a boon that was for me. Card up in the top if you want to check that out, man. I've been doing Card King for Artemisia. Woohoo! So much value. Because of these damage over time effects, using a Cyrus and Ramses combo is really good. Oh, yeah. And by the way, the Cyrus Ramses combo. How about that combo? This over here is overtime damage. So Cyrus primary makes it so that you are going to do more damage with Ramses, which is kind of insane. So for a counter rally, the combo is gangbuster. But what about the open field? The combo is gangbuster. It's very, very strong with the Cyrus and Ramses pairing for the reasons as I was describing. But also, the reason I think you should spin Cyrus is that I have mentioned in the past that City Popouts, also known as cheeseburgering, card up in the top for when I walk through this, is a very powerful tactic. I really neglected to talk about how Cyrus Esong is actually a super viable City Popout combo. Why is that? You pop out of your city, boom, you get a 10% chance to do damage over time. That's instant proc. If they all turn on you, 
instantly. You can jump back in your city. And what do you get as a benefit? Not only did you have a chance to do instant proc damage to them when you were attacking the one target, but if a bunch of people starts to swarm you when you're cheeseburgering, now you have a huge chance to do a ton of AoE before you get back to safety. I really like Cyrus for cheeseburgering. It's actually kind of gross. And Esong is a secondary there is really powerful because if nobody notices that you're popping out of your city and you start to build up rage, you could skill cycle with the Esong, which is really gross. And then you pop back into your city. Also, Esong is giving you rage gen uh, from the second skill. There's a chance that you will generate a little bit of extra rage. So you skill cycle faster and then boom, get out of there, man. I actually think Cyrus is really good. Is he good enough to make my main five murder ball? You know, I haven't put him there. Not yet. But when I expand to six marches, man, Cyrus shows up. I've played around with Cyrus in Ark of Osiris, and I really like him there. The march speed's really good. The debuffs are really good when I'm swarming a structure. Like, yeah, Cyrus and Ramses is doing a lot of things that I really like as a combo. I also have been playing around with Ramses and Tamaris. It's a bit of a separate idea. But I really am liking Cyrus the Great. So for pure open fielding, for most people who have Ramses and they're looking for one other commander, and you're also going to potentially counter rally, I think Cyrus is a really fantastic choice. I do think you could use Gilgamesh for counter rallies. I don't think that would be bad either. I think there's a lot that Gilgamesh is offering. And between these commanders, there's really not a bad choice. Ramses and Cyrus and Gilgamesh are all really, really strong. If you're new to SOC, I think Ramses is the play. If you're going to be rallying, Gilgamesh is the obvious choice. Just make sure you do the honest check of, am I spending on technology in the Season of Conquest, and do I have the equipment for that? And if you're going to just be counter-rallying, then yeah, I think the Cyrus is probably the direction I would steer you toward, even though you could launch a counter-rally with the Gilgamesh. I think you're almost certainly better off because of this skill right here only working for cities and strongholds. Using that Cyrus combo with the Cyrus Ramses, that seems really strong to me. If you found this video helpful, throw a like on here and consider subscribing. And if you want to see me spin the wheel, <laughs> and not that I haven't given you enough videos to watch when you tap that little info button to look for more, but card up in the top for last night when I double spun the Gilgamesh wheel. This is the second time the wheels come around, and I mean... Yeah, I got a pretty decent amount of sculptures. I'll probably spin it again tomorrow. Until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies and leave a comment down below if uh, there is other guidance you would have or recommendations you would make for the commander to choose from the Archer Wheel of Fortune.